All right, Dead Space 2, chapter 11 teen. So, where are we at? Ah, this is the, the room where you have to move the power cell, change the battery out. You remember this room? Not yet. Okay. It's, uh, it's the one where there's like one of those dead power cells. You have to change it out and there's a stasis recharge station. Anyways. Lots of dudes in this room. Uh, and they come, uh, not all, of, like, you'll hit lots of checkpoints that, like, uh, spawn dudes. Checkpoints. <laughs> the or, fucker checkpoints. You know what I mean. Trip, no. trip wires. I play hardcore, man. There's no fucking check... Oh, invisible... Invisible lines that you cross. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm not talking checkpoints in the traditional sense. Right. I just couldn't think of a word for that. So, you excited to continue your hardcore guide? Yeah. <laughs> Have you decided on save points at all? No. I was playing, uh, so I recorded a couple levels today, and in my personal opinion, I think chapter 13 is probably the hardest chapter. Okay. So, I'm on chapter 8 right now. Like, right before. That elevator, I think, is where I'm gonna save. Which that, that last elevator? It's like a large square elevator. We just get ambushed from every side. Yes. <laughs> do, you, do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think it's in this level actually. Oh. And I think it's if you have the um, contact theme, mm -hmm. it's a, a cake walk. Okay. So we'll have to see if we're talking about the same elevator. Okay. But uh, yeah, oh. the uh, the part that I thought was pretty hard was um, coming up in chapter thirteen with or chapter twelve with when you're riding on top of that drill. Oh well, yeah, but both those sections are hard, and you know it's only one chapter separates them. So saving at you know uh, right before that elevator versus mm -hmm. you know trying to push it to right before. Yeah, you don't want to push it. When you've got like three hours behind you, right? Well, I, I got two more saves left, so I figure, you know, I know what my last save is going to be. You do? Yeah. And uh, it's before the last boss, or? Well, right before the eye poker. Ah, the eye poker. Yeah, because there's like there's a room right before the eye poker that has um, uh, a save point, a node bench, and a store. Yes. And that's gonna be my last save. And and like you know, right after the eye poker is the guy who can't die unless you put him through the fan. <laughs> well, yeah, glitch him through the fan. And uh, there's a the regenerator and then, you know, the final boss, which I don't think is going to be hard. But... Yeah, I think that would... That, well, that's going to be my your, last save. And yeah. then the save before that is probably going to be... Um, I don't know. Because chapter 10 is the really long... That, that's the Ishimura from game one and that one's really long yeah so if I can get through that and save right before the square elevator yeah I don't know got another question for you for my guide would you say so I'm at I'm at, I've recorded up to that point where you're gonna make your uh, last save mm -hmm. there's that store in the bench mm -hmm. should I respec my plasma cutter to be a secret rifle well, just for the hell of it? Just for the hell of it? <sighs> no. You not you're not enjoying the seeker rifle? No. You don't enjoy the seeker rifle. Instead of the plasma cutter. Right. They're both accurate. Well, in, unless you have a ton of cash to spare. I have tons of cash. And the seeker rifle ammo. I do. All right. I'll check. Schematic. I'll check. That's important. Cuz I've I've run out of ammo twice in my fucking hardcore walkthrough. I barely like I, I ran out of ammo on the tripod I, I elevator. Was, I was watching that. that I watched you do that. I can't live. believe I made it through that. Yeah. Um, and I also ran out of ammo during the uh, elementary school part, where there's like a ton of the things that you're holding right now, and the toddlers, and a couple of the bat wings. Uh, 
Uh, but that, that was my own stupidity. Both running out of ammo both times was my own stupidity, like my own mistakes. Yeah. I mean, I I told you what I did, right? Uh, which time? The uh, baby time? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember that. Oh, I um. Well. <laughs> I, I got the schematic for the seeker rifle, so I bought it, mm -hmm. and then I sold all my plasma cutter ammo because I was planning on respecking my plasma cutter and putting all those nodes into the seeker rifle, mm -hmm. but I couldn't respec yet. Oh, so this was pretty early on in the game. Yeah, this was like chapter... You can't even respec, or like chapter five you can respec or something? Seven or eight. Oh, wow. Um, so yeah, I sold all my plasma cutter ammo and then realized I couldn't respect and had to rebuy it all, and I didn't have like, you know, that's a hundred percent markup. Yeah. So I, I I lost a significant amount of ammo there, um, and then the seeker rifle one was just like, if you're not carrying that gun around, you're not getting ammo drops for it, and I didn't, you know, the the schematic for the seeker rifle ammo was really late in the game. Yeah. So I didn't um, I didn't have any ammo for it, and I just had to get lucky through the. Um, that one tripod elevator part. Yeah, that was pretty intense. That was I was thinking you were gonna have to use the disc checkpoint. Mm -hmm. but Fortunately, I didn't. Yeah. It certainly removed a lot of stress, though. Like I don't know. If like just ha knowing that the disc checkpoint right. was there. Yeah, I just you know you play a little bit looser. Yeah. Not so tense. Yeah. Oh, so quick. Uh, right above me right now is the uh, diamond semiconductor that somebody found me good job that's a big bet that's a big one 20, yes. 25 grand yep. two and a half nodes almost three if you've got the vintage suit on 